Time for an upgrade on this printer. Welcome to the Doofy by DJ's BRC. Today we have the Ender 2 Pro. Uh, it's one of the, my smallest printer I do have. Uh, 163 by 163. I do love it. Simple reason is, when I have small parts to print, I don't need the big printer. My Ender 3 Max. Uh, super easy. Uh, it does have the CR touch on it uh, as an upgrade. I did an LED bar on top to illuminate the uh, physical machine when it's printing. Because I, I do have the octo print on, the, uh, on my machines. And basically, webcam, I can watch the print what's happening. But today, the upgrade I'm going to do to this guy here is not hard to do, but is change out these springs. The spring that's on it right now, they're not bad. There's better, a lot more solid. Uh, these are just basically, um, I think it's mild steel springs on it, if I remember correctly. Uh, but let's change them to a better spring. These guys here. This is what I have on my uh, two other printers, my Enders, 3 Max, and I like them. You can physically move the uh, print bed without unleveling your bed. Uh, one of the first thing I'm going to do is remove my my cover off of it and seriously not hard to do. I'm just going to remove my spool holder. You'll notice underneath here you have four screws. Basically, this is what you use to level your bed uh, going up and down. And you're going to pull your bed completely out. And you're just going to start unscrewing this guy here. Until it's completely removed. You will need to do all four. Now the back ones will be a little bit harder. You don't have a ton of space to do it in the back to remove these. Uh, you could remove the front tensioner and remove the complete bit off the printer. But I don't think you need to do that. I'm going to remove my screen out of the way just to give me a little bit more space. Be able to get the back one. Now <laughs> The back one's going to be really fun to put back. That's the only down point. Okay, put these aside. What we're going to do now is basically lift our bed. Now be careful of your back wire that heats your bed. You do have the physical wire holder. Pry this very gently and you'll see the difference between the, the, the springs here. I'm just going to remove these springs and just lay this down. Now if my camera wants to focus a little bit better, just basically I would say these are kind of mild springs, very small. There is a difference in height, uh, almost ready to say a quarter inch. And these are a lot tougher to move. Let's take these guys here, the stock one, put them aside. I'm going to do the back one first. Because it is the hardest one. 
And we'll put our wire holder back. I need this one here too. And just lay it on top of the bed. I mean, you might, it might be hard to see. I'm just using the bed to hold the uh, bolts, what about the, 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 the screens? Yeah, the screens. <laughs> to hold the uh, physical springs there. Gonna realign the screws. Now I'm going in. Okay, they're all in. I'm gonna do the first one here. Just start it. When there's some tension to it, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna do the last, the back one last. Snug. Yeah, like I said, the back ones are going to be a little bit harder to do. But once they're aligned, they're not hard. Let's do the hardest one. Put my printer on the side. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do this one exactly. I'm going to use my two hands and try not to crest draw. Crest, put crest draw. Crest something. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring them down. What I should have mentioned in the beginning is roughly take a measurement of how much of the screw goes underneath here. Uh, you're going to want maybe half of it because now these springs here you want to be able to have some play, but you don't want too much. Yeah, that's good. Let's say that's good too. Now, one of the things you have to be careful here, once you do the spring upgrade, is if you do have a CR touch, you will need to, see I still have some movement, you will need to readjust your Z offset. And you will need to re-level your bed. Simple reason is now these springs are, like I said, they're a quarter inch longer. Your bed won't be level. And that will change your Z offset at the same time. But once that's done, Put your, your pad back on, turn your machine on, warm up your bed. I would say at least a 50 to 60. Once that's done, level your bed manually with a piece of paper. If you're not sure how to do that part, I do have a video how to manually level your bed. If you have a CR touch like I do, I'll need to refine my Z offset, enter it, and then do a bed level. If you're not sure how to do that one too, I do have a video showing how to do it on this machine. Basically put your machine back in one piece and happy printing. Now, if you guys have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. I do appreciate it. It does help a lot the channel. And thank you for watching.